My name is Dan Hudson. I'm an Extension Educator with Ingham County MSU Extension and we're here out in the field today talking about whether or not it makes a difference if you lime in the spring just prior to planting if you have a, a part of your field where the pH is severely um, lower than it should be. It seems like we get calls on this question every year and generally speaking we obviously encourage people to do their liming after the cropping season or uh, much before planting takes place because timely planting is so essential for good corn and soybean yields. This spring we got a call from a farm where uh, the wheat was dying and the farmer said every year it seems like the crops come up okay and then they, then they uh, slowly die and, and they never really make a yield, at least in part of the field. So we came out and we uh, tested intensively in the areas that were uh, really bad and the areas which were looking much better. Uh, it happened that this year this field was planted to wheat and it turned out that the pH in the good spots was 5.1 and in the bad spots it was more around 4.5 um, and the wheat was looking better in the areas where the pH was 5.1 and you can see that's the area behind me where you see the wheat uh, almost ready to harvest. Dr. Daryl Warnke and his graduate student Laura Bast came out to put in some plots to, to try to answer the question about whether or not applying lime in the spring will make any difference for that year's crop. And Today we're going to be looking at some corn and soybean plots uh, where lime was applied and where it was not to see if there's any visible difference. These two rows in front of us uh, did not receive dolomitic lime and as you can see these plants are severely stunted and much more yellow uh, and have less healthy leaves than the plots that we're going to, to look at next. These two rows of corn in front of me did receive dolomitic lime and you can see clearly these plants are larger, the uh, color is better and the leaf health it has a better appearance as well. It's still not as good as we would like it to be which uh, is what we would expect, but we have a, a visual and physical response at least early in the growing season and um, looking at it I would predict that we're going to see a yield difference too. But it could happen that these plots uh, have not responded well enough to the lime that they'll actually produce grain. That remains to be seen. Now let's pan the plots with the camera and you can see right in front of me we have corn that is small and yellow where no lime was applied and if we go on over to the other side of the plot we can see significantly larger and much healthier plants. The soybeans directly in front of us here did not receive an application of dolomitic lime earlier and you can see that the, the plants are very small compared to the plants that we're going to be looking at next. The rows of soybeans directly in front of us did receive the dolomitic lime and as you can see the stand is not perfect but they are significantly larger than the soybeans that we looked at in the last frame. Often we prefer to think that agronomic problems should be able to be solved by looking at something, but unfortunately soil, soil fertility is not one of those areas. There's nothing more valuable than a good representative soil test from a whole field with uniform characteristics. If the characteristics are different across the field, test each of the section of the, section of the field separately. If you have problem spots in the field, test each of the problem spots separately and uh, compare those to areas of the field which are very Poor soil fertility does not just affect crop yield. In fact, uh, low soil fertility can affect how resistant the plant is to insects. It can affect how attractive the plant is to insects and how resistant to other stresses such as drought those plants are. It's much too early to say definitively what will happen in terms of yield with the plots that had that dolomitic lime application compared to those that did not. But at this point, it's very easy to tell which plots receive the application or not, which partially answers our question. Yes, if you have an opportunity to apply lime in the spring and incorporate it, it definitely can make a difference, especially if your soils tend to be sandy.